So, uh, let's talk about the big news to come out of IDW in WonderCon. Now, this was like the big thing IDW was really pushing for uh, their whole news for WonderCon was that, yeah, we're totally doing this story after an X amount of years, and yeah. For those who are not in the know, we are co coming to IDW's giant event involving Unicron, finally entering the IDW universe. That's right, Unicron is making his big debut in IDW Comics. Which, yeah. Which you gotta give credit to the guys over at IDW for not saying, oh, we gotta do fucking Unicron now. We gotta do Unicron right away. It's more like, hey, we've got all these stories to tell. Let's save Unicron for something big. So I guess that something big has come. And I mean that in the sense of both figuratively and literally because it's frickin' Unicron. I also find it funny that they decided to use Unicron as their big um, villain for the tr the IDW uh, shared universe. I find it I find that funny because yeah, it's not like you know, in the same month they're starting you know a, a week after the same month they're starting this because the event kicks off in um, Free Comic Book Day, which I'll get to in a minute, but. It's funny that this is kicking off a week a week after a certain movie involving another giant villain of a shared universe. And that's the big thing is that, again, I have to give credit to um, the guys over at IDW for wanting to save Unicron for something big because he's both figuratively and literally a gigantic threat. I mean, just look at the image right here. Now, Unicron is going to be an interesting story arc because they've said that this is going to be the end of the I of the IDW Transformers comics. However, they didn't really specify as to how that was going to go down. In some cases, a lot of people they they were kind they weren't really specific about it. At least from the articles I've understand is that you know some people are kind of speculating that maybe this is the end of the IDW because maybe Hasbro and IDW are cutting ties. That's not happening because they're the IDW Transformer comics are selling really well, um, and they've been very buddy buddy with the Hasbro and IDW have been very buddy buddy as of late um, for years, in fact. So I'm not, sh you know, I think it's more of a it's not the end of tran of the Transformers comics. I think it's the end of the status quo we've had with Transformers comics is what they're trying to say is that when Uni the aftermath of Unicron is going to change everything. Because we've got, you know, this whole shared universe they've been building, they've been uh, building with, um, with Action Man, and they just brought in the Visionaries. They just brought in the Visionaries into this shared universe, and I'm still waiting for the Inhumanoids. Damn it! Where are my Inhumanoids? <laughs> anyway, so that's what I think is what's going down is that. Um, Unicron is going to be this big, like, Thanos, like, they're going to use, uh, Unicron like Thanos to essentially, uh, be this big universal villain. And in fact, the first, the first part of this story are the Autobots helping Rom save, uh, save his, try to save his homeworld from Unicron, which I doubt is going to go well. <laughs> just, just saying that right now, I'm pretty sure Rom's homeworld's not going to be with us much longer. The other thing is I'm curious about is that again the big thing the big tagline is it's the end of the Transformers universe and I'm like yeah but it's shared so what are you gonna do? what are you gonna do from here IDW <laughs> so and it, it, so I think it's been something they've been built they've been building to for years because they you know transform IDW Transformers has been around since two thousand like two thousand three two thousand you know two thousand three or four so. To wait this long, like they've been waiting to to uh, to roll out. They've been holding back on using Unicron longer than Mar the Marvel movies have been waiting to use Thanos. And I understand, yes, you know, two thousand the whole cinematic universe started in two thousand eight. Uh, but you see where I'm going is that they waited long. They could have easily just gone Unicron right out the gate, but no, they waited, waited waited. They just shared universe and waited. And I think that was the big thing is that they wanted to make this feel like something, the IDW equivalent of Infinity War, where you've got the, G, we've got G.I. Joe, we've got Action Man, we've got Rom, we've got now the Visionaries, we've now got uh, uh, Mask, we've got 
you know, so so many other um, IDW characters. I mean, excuse me, Hasbro characters in this big shared universe, and. I would not be shocked if they had, like, Unicron attacking and trying to devour Prismos, which is the world that the world of the Visionaries takes place in. So, would not be shocked if they have Unicron try to devour, or uh, possibly even manage to devour, Prismos. And I'm really looking for, I'm really curious to see where the, the, uh, the fallout of what happens in this share, in this IDW universe is that, you know, when, because you don't use Unicron for a minor story. You use him for a gigantic arc, and I've got a feeling that some Transformers are not going to be, and some people are going to, and some other heroes are not going to walk away from this uh, unscathed. A lot of people are going to be, uh, <laughs> essentially, there, there's going to be some big event-shattering stuff in here. And I know that's a, you know, the word life-changing and comic books doesn't really go together very well, but you gotta give it to IDW and a lot of the other independent companies where when they do a giant event, the effects stay. The A lot of the effects stay, so I would not be shocked if they had a whole slew of characters killed off, um, and that sticks. Someone might come back in Transformers side because Transformers is just power napping. <laughs> uh, death for Transformers is power napping in some cases, keyword being some cases, and even then, that's few and far between, the only one who ever really comes back are Starscream and Optimus, Megatron a few times, but the only two that really come back, and even then, it's like, more of a ghost form, but Me Optimus is the really the only one who comes back, so, when you really think about it, it's only one character, not counting Starscream in his ghost form. I dig I'm I'm uh I'm dig I digress. So the other thing I'm wondering about since they've had Galvatron play a big role in here, and for those who are not in the know, in the IDW universe, Galvatron is his own character. He's not Megatron. Megatron, in fact, is an Autobot, and I'm wondering if uh, that's going to stay further. If that's going to you know because I've really dug Autobot Megatron. It's been a really cool character study uh, for a villain who. It's kind of like um, Frieza in Dragon Ball Super of having him join the uh, the Z Fighters um, in the universe arc. Although, granted, that was more like he was kind of strong armed into it, but still, you know how that ended, uh, and it still leaves open for a lot in that regard. So, really, it's kind of the it's also yeah, it's kind of like having now Dark Side in the Justice League. Um, that's happening in in um, up Josh Williamson's Justice League Odyssey. So. Having Megatron be a full-on Autobot and good guy is really cool, and I hope they really keep to that. Maybe would be really... It, this would be really cool to see, is maybe after... If Optimus dies fighting Unicron, Megatron gets the all, uh, gets the Matrix of Leadership. Yeah. It could, you know... Or there could be Hot Rod, you know. Hot Rod's still out there, and I think he was Rodimus for a little while. Um, but then he, he gave it back, just like he did in the cartoon. So that could be the case, but what if they kill him all, kill off Optimus, and get and the Matrix goes to Megatron? I feel like that would be an interesting step of having for so long he had, um, you know, fought and tried to destroy this thing, and now it's a part of him. So that could be the case. Um, the other thing about this is that, like I said, it'd be interesting to see Galvatron as well as his followers join up with Unicron because they're like because they're more like the extremists of the Decepticons in the IDW universe they're like the Decepticons are like yeah we don't like to follow Galvatron because he's goddamn insane so um, it'd be really cool to see Galvatron maybe work together with Unicron and be like his herald like in the movie um, so I'm really looking forward to this. I don't think it's a full-on end to the IDW universe. I really don't think it's the end of the IDW uh, Transformers and subsequently their shared universe. I really don't think it's the end of that. I do think, however, it's like it's an end of a of an era, much like how Infinity War is. And I know I've been making a lot of parallels to Infinity War in this in this vid, but. Um, it just kind of feels like, again, we have this big cosmic threat coming to Earth and and to destroy the rest of the galaxy, and you have all these heroes from different walkabouts coming together to fight one enemy that no one person can fight. So, yeah. 
I just kind of, I can't help but make those pair. And again, it's coming out so close. The event starts um, so close uh, from Infinity War, I can't help but make those uh, parallels. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where this could go. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of Unicron coming to the IDW Transformers universe? Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? And also, are you guys, um, do you think this is the end of the Transformers comics and subsequently the shared universe? Or do you think this is the end of an era and a new era begins? And, uh, what do you think of that? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, I hope you all enjoyed this. Real quick, also, um, before I go, I know a lot of people have been asking, like, where's my review for Krypton and subsequently my Pacific Rim Uprising review? Those were taken care of and done on my other channel, on the other channel, uh, Comic Universe. If you haven't subscribed already, I'll leave a link below for you guys to subscribe. But those videos were already done. Me and my friend C-Dubs got together, did those reviews. So those were, we, I was thinking about doing reviews here, but I was like, nah, I'll do them there. It'd be fun to play off somebody there on that end. So, uh, just com so just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that yes, I saw Krypton and Pacific Rim Uprising, but those reviews will be on that channel and uh, will probably be coming out soon. So just wanted to, like I said, give you guys the heads up on that. But once again, I hope you all enjoyed this. Really interested to see what you guys have to say about this. And once, So uh, just comment below, let me know. And once again, uh, hope you all enjoyed this. I've said that three times now, sorry. And I'm out.